Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon. You can find me at Instagram as Sharon's Craft or Facebook as Sharon's Craft. I will put the link to my Instagram and Facebook down below in the description box. How are you doing today? So, um, I am going to show you some of the finished item that I have and also some whip that I'm working on. And it has been quite a very productive week for me because um, I have some finished object and I'm really excited to show them. First of all, um, before my finished object, I will show you what I'm wearing. So uh, this is a um, crochet top, uh, which is crocheted from the top down. So it's a really simple pattern. And I am using the hand dyed yarn. So this is the one, this is the one. It's a very pretty yarn with the speckle and all this. So this is from um, Beef Sugar Yarn. I will put it in the screen somewhere. And the colorway of this is Luck Dragon. So this is 100% Superwash Merino Single. It's a fingering weight and it's 400 yards. So this is machine wash cool or hand washing preferred. So I will put the link to her Etsy shop down below where if you're interested to get her yarn she have a lot of a lot of amazing uh, colors that she dyed up and I buy a lot of her yarn because I really like the color way that she put into this so this is the crochet top um, this one was uh, a pattern from um, I don't remember her name now, but uh, Chandy, Chandy. I will put uh, the her channel name here, and I will also put it down below at the YouTube uh, the description, so you can go check out her channel. And she have a lot of um, amazing pat pattern, and I downloaded the pattern and just. I didn't really follow everything. I just follow the top where she do the increase, and the rest I just, you know, go by my body measurement. So, um, okay, so that's about what I'm wearing. So the next thing I want to show you is is a finished object where you can see here beside me. So this is the one that I have already finished. The one that I talked about in the previous episode and it's finally done and I'm super excited let me just pull her here to show you okay sorry about the noise but I just need to show you that it's finally done and there's an opening here and it's just all done I'm so excited because this took me a very long time to finish it's a very very warm sweater um, because I used uh, I held two together and I have the yarn here with me so I talked about the yarn in my previous video so it is this one I don't really know uh, the name the colorway the information I just know that the label says it's a cashmere yarn so it's pretty soft and I held double with the mohair yarn that I got from AliExpress. So these two and this is what I have left. I think I don't really know how many skein I use but uh, but this is what I have left and this is how it turned out. I have already blocked this and I think it turned out really nice. I'm super excited about this. This one was uh, knitted up, uh, this is knitted from bottom up and I used a 2.25mm chow hu needle, circular needle, the red, red lace and it is like, yeah, so it is pretty dense and you will not see, um, it's not see through definitely. So that 
is why this took a very long time and it is finally done and I'm super excited that it's finally done and I can move on okay so this is done let me show you the other finished object that I have and I'm also excited to show you this it's also another sweater and this is it I'm also quite happy with this I'm actually quite happy with this um, because I am happy with the combination and you know it makes the sweater really interesting and it's not dull because it's just one color and that's why I wanted to mix this up and you know pop in some colors here and there and yeah and it turned out great so this is a crochet top this is also crocheted from bottom up and I just uh, did the, the neckline here and then I just add some uh, the pockets uh, using the same yarn as the sleeve so let me tell you about the yarn that I use so this color here the moss green color this is made using premier cotton fair which is uh, this yarn right here but it's, of course it's not this color uh, it is in the moss colorway for this um, body part moss colorway and I, I used up three balls of this and I this is the only one I have left of the third ball because I wanted to use everything that I have but apparently I still have this much left and this sweater is actually quite long it's not that long but it reached until my just over my hip so it's pretty long and the sleeve and the pocket um, I have the yarn right here so this is made using the lion brand dotted line in the colorway flower power so that's for the sleeve and the pockets and I kind of like this idea I think I wanted to do some other sweater with different kind of um, uh, color combination of uh, just a tonal color as well as some variegated or striped colored yarn I think it will make the sweater really fun and it looked really interesting and I really love this one recall what is the hook size I was using uh, I think I use okay so I remember that I use a crochet hook size 5 millimeter for um, for the body and the, the sleeve as well as oh about the pocket I use a smaller one I think it was a 4 millimeter because I wanted the pocket to be a little bit denser because yeah not too many holes so I use a smaller hook for the pockets and so this one there's no pattern for either this one both of this and this so I just um, made this as I go according to my body no pattern no measurement and just measuring to my body and yeah that's it so this is another finished object super excited love the color so I have this color here I'm thinking of putting this color together with one of the let me show you I have the color right here okay so I think this color uh, it's a cotton acrylic blend will goes actually goes well with this one so this is the ice yarn it's the Lorena print and this one which have the uh, same yarn content as this one the fiber content which is also cotton acrylic blend and this one is 52 cotton and 48 percent acrylic and this is 55 by 45 percent acrylic so it's pretty similar and the yarn weight is also um, quite similar this uh, I think this is a lightweight 3 
and this is also uh, this is a fine too but I think they are quite similar the yarn size uh, is not that much of a difference so these two color will go well together I mean that's how I feel so let me know what you think I'm going to make another sweater and I think I'm going to do something different than the than this one oopsie a little bit different than this so we'll see what I come up with so I'm pretty excited about this so that is the second finished object and the third one is oh oops is the camera moving don't move no 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 so the third finished object that I wanted to show you is it's a cowl it's this one it's a knitted cowl and you see there's my label over there it's just it just says handmade with love Sharon Scruff so that's my channel's name so this is a, a fit uh, it's a quite a closed uh, snuggly cowl this is the first time I'm making cowl because we don't have a need for cowl here so why did I make this you say well I have this yarn so this is the yarn that I used so this yarn uh, is from the knit crate monthly subscription um, the box uh, and I received this I think this was a uh, probably the November November one or was it the no sorry I, I think this is the October probably I don't know it's either October or month of November 2020 uh, knit crate box subscription box and this is the label I'm not sure you might might be seeing this um, uh, flip so this is the Yuru yarn by knit crate so the color way of this is petal and it's a 82% merino wool 18% Peruvian Pima cotton uh, it's super bulky and it's 109 yards it's a hundred gram and because I was thinking of what I should do with this uh, I have two of this this is just uh, made using uh, one and I have this much left of the first one so I have another second which is here you can see I have kicked it up so I can still make something else but why did I make a cowl if um, it is super warm here the reason is because I was trying to feel this um, yarn against my skin and I realized that it is super soft it is so soft and like it should be made um, it should be turned into something that you can wear around your neck because it's because it is really really soft it is very chunky but it's very soft so it's like oh my god maybe i should have made a pillow or something pillow case or something but oh well i've made a cowl so i might um give it give this uh, to someone one of my friends uh, who is uh, living in a colder country and um, they will go back and you know wherever they are I'm sure they will find a use for this and this I have not washed and blocked but I will do that and even if I have not washed and blocked it is already very soft so I'm so happy so happy with this it's very simple it's just a uh, one by one rip at the uh, top and bottom section here and it's just plain stockinette here it's like, oh, I cannot help it I just love putting this against my neck it's so soft okay so that's my third finish object and this one I made using the 6.5 millimeter needle knitting needle 6.5 and I like how it turned out I really do and I love the color actually 
it will look nice if you have a uh, oversized coat or something and you wear this against and it, this will be on the inside it's like so pretty okay enough about that so that's the third finished object I have some other finished object here that I'm going to show you so I made some hats I actually I have four I, I'm, I have no idea where, to, where the other one went but it's a knitted hat uh, I'm not following any pattern by the way this is just you know I'm just trying to use up uh, I'm just trying to uh, use my stash and I decided to make some beanie or hats for myself and my kids and also my husband so the other one that you you don't see here is uh, the beanie for my husband I think he took it so this is for me so and then this is for my boy who is uh, five and this is for my girl who is nine this year and there is a actually a little um, hole here which uh, because she tied her hair in ponytail all the time so this is where her ponytail can come out and it fit her very well and let me talk about the yarn that I use for this so the yarn that I use was um, this four season I will I will put it at the screen so you can uh, see better because I think this is flipped and this is the four seasons Marvel eight ply yarn uh, this is actually bought from a shop uh, when I was in Singapore it's called spotlight it's an Australian craft store so I don't think you will find this in the US um, and this is the color uh, there's no color name it's just a color number so the color number is 1044 so this is a hundred gram it's a hundred percent acrylic yarn and let me see how hmm. no, there is no um, information on the yardage and this is for the purple one so this is what I have left from one skein that I made uh, using just uh, using just this one skein to make two of this and I still have this much left and the grey one which is this one so this one is this color so it's the same yarn and but the color number is 1061 so it's this like um, heather gray color but i think the feel of this yarn is quite rough so i think for hat it is okay but um probably for garment it should be okay probably once you washed it or blocked it i think it should be it should soften up just like uh the red heart super saver So that's the yarn. Okay, so so far I have four finished objects. I only have one whip that I'm doing at the moment, and I am also excited about this. This is well none nonetheless another sweater that I'm making. Not really a sweater, a cardigan, a jacket, or something like that. So let me show you because it's in this bag. This is the ice yarn bag that I got when I bought some ice yarns and Whew. I should be careful it's a very big project okay so I'm still working on this uh, I have another sleeve to finish and once that's done it's done so I'm very excited so let me show you. So 
so this is going to be the sweater so I'm working on the sleeve right now I have finished the other sleeve but I'm going to add a uh, cuff here the cuff here using this uh, dark grey color so let me show you maybe I should put it on for you hold on So it's pretty warm and I'm just making myself more warmer but that's okay I just wanted to show you guys so this is what I have made so far and there's going to be buttons here Wait, it'll be like that yeah and I'm going to do a, a rib cuff here which is going to be just uh, sitting ar uh, around my wrist here and this one will be smaller around the so it will balloon up a, a little after it's done so so let me tell you about this cardigan the reason why I am making this like different color in this panel and another color here and another lighter blue at the back and the ribbing is another color let me get this off it's so very warm okay so um before i tell you the reason let me show you the yarn that i use so this is the lion brand true blue yarn and this is 100% um, rayon from bamboo and this color is slate so this is for the ribbing and you can find this at uh, lionbrands.com and then the lighter wait uh, the darker blue is this one this one the name of this is just blue and Wait, where's my bag? Okay. And this is the light blue. This is all I have left from the uh, second skein. And the colorway is light blue. And the light gray color is this one. This is what I have left from the second skein. So this one is just called silver. So the reason why I am making different color for different panel is because I only bought two of each color. So I know that I will not have enough to make a full cardigan or a full sweater using just these two uh, because I think this is uh, only 241 yard and I know for me sweater uh, usually takes up to a, a cardigan for this instant a uh, oversized cardigan will take up to probably a thousand yard and i only have 482 yard so that's not enough so that is why i'm using different color for a different panel and i don't think it um it looked that bad and I'm quite pleased at the, the how how it turned out. I think the color is quite nice. But of course this yarn there's a little weight to this yarn and that's fine with me. So this is quite heavy. I'm quite happy with the result. So this is my whip. I am trying to finish this uh, before I move on to another project and I can't wait to show this on Instagram. Once it's done, I will be posting this is in my Instagram and update you guys in my next episode. And the other one I'm just excited to do was um, the 
the the sweater for this ice yarn and also the premier cotton fair and maybe I'll start with that as well so that's all I have to show you if you have any question um, also this one there's no pattern so everything is just um, by my body measurement um, I don't really know I don't really follow pattern that much so um, yeah that's all I have to show you so it have been 25 minutes okay so that's long enough and if you have any question please leave them down below uh, and at the comment section and I will try to reply you as soon as I can and another thing is I'm super happy because um, one of my favorite podcaster gave my channel a shout out and I'm so 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 thankful and so grateful and I'm super excited when I know about it because one of them someone commented on one of my video and let me know that she gave me a shout out and that person is none other than Debbie from Canadian Crocheter and she is so fun to watch I love watching her channel and she made me laugh all the time things that I just wanted to show the things that I make and probably in a few years time I can watch back to see like what I have done and I'm just so happy that someone actually saw I mean like you know I don't know the feeling it's just so excited I'm just so excited so that's all um, I have uh, thank you for watching and until the next episode uh, stay safe and stay healthy bye